Guys, look at my new puppy. What's up, loves? Abby here from Twist Me Pretty. I hope you guys have had an amazing week. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should. It's at Twist Me Pretty. My husband and I took a last minute trip to China, so I'm sorry we've been a little bit quiet over here. I have some exciting, super life-changing things to tell you guys about, but it's gonna have to wait because I literally came home to fall. Fall is in the air. Do you guys have seasons where you are? Ugh. Fall is my absolute most favorite time of the year. I just love the sweaters and the hats and pumpkins, like literally everything about fall. So I thought it would be fun to kind of round up my favorite everyday go-to hairstyles for fall. So I hope you guys enjoy it. A big thank you to Remington for sponsoring this video and let's jump into it. Okay, so I washed and dried my hair last night. <laughs> can see my hair's in a bun. So before we get started on these hairstyles, I thought I'd show you how I'm doing my curls today. I haven't shared this technique in a while, so I just thought it was the perfect video to throw it in. You're gonna need a straightener. I'm using the Remington One Inch Iron with Color Care Technology. So you can pick this guy up at Target. And they have this new Color Care Collection, which is really cool, you guys. I'll make sure to link it up in the description below. The flat iron has these ceramic color lock plates on it. And their whole goal with this collection really is to just make sure that those of us with color treated hair are keeping our color as bright and vibrant for as long as possible so these plates are actually infused with keratin oil and UV filters and micro conditioners and that just helps add shine so I'll make sure to link this up below and let's jump into it I'm gonna be using Sebastian Brilliant it's honestly one of the best heat protectants before we use it though section off a two inch section at the nape of the neck right under the ears and then clip the rest of the hair out of the way and then go ahead and brush that section and then you can spray the entire section at once or spray the hair piece by piece just whatever you do make sure you're using a heat protector on your hair now take your iron and your knuckles should be facing forward and then twist your wrist so that your knuckles are now close to your face so practice that for a second because that's how we're gonna get these curls today and then let's do it on a piece of hair so you're gonna clamp on the root of your section with your flat iron knuckles are facing forward and then rotate your wrist towards your face and then pull down and when you release the curl I like to twirl it in my fingers just so that it cools in that pattern this is gonna help retain the curls day after day on this section you'll notice I'm turning the iron one more time and this is just gonna make the section a little curlier and it works well if you have long hair so then just twirl the section away from your face and keep repeating. I like to focus on all the curls going away from my face and then this iron is super handy because of the swivel cord. It just never gets tangled, which is really convenient. Now I'm pulling another section down to curl, spraying each piece with a heat protectant and just repeating these same steps until everything is curled. This flat iron though is so beautiful. It heats up in 30 seconds. It has five digital heat settings and actually goes up to 450 degrees. I'd recommend starting out at 350 though, unless you know you have really, really coarse hair. I'll make sure to link this and their new collection up in the description box below. Now I'm gonna take the Chloron Protective Oil. I love this product so much. It's especially great if you have a really dry hair. I'm gonna spray three to five spritzes in my hands, rub them together, and then just go through and break up the curls with my fingers. And now for my favorite trick, I'm gonna take the straightener and just straighten the ends. And this is gonna help the curls lay nicely. You can also go through some of the curls or pieces up top to help calm the curl down a little bit or to tame any frizz. And there you are, some really beautiful straightener curls. What do you guys think about this technique? Have you done it before? One of my favorite things for fall is to accessorize with a hat. This is a Brixton hat from Nordstrom. I can link up a couple favorites below. But I just think they're so cute. So what do you prefer, with or without the hat? I have to show you guys my new puppy. This is Riggies. His real name is Wrigley for like Wrigley Field. The boys voted and won, of course. We're outnumbered, me and Sav. But we call him Riggs and we love him. Huh? cutest doodle ever. <laughs> All right, let's dive into these styles. So we're gonna take a section from the crown and just pull it half up. I'm gonna fold this section now. So the left side is gonna go over the right side and then I'm gonna take my bobby pin and just push it up through that fold. And I have explained this in depth in another video, so I'm gonna kinda keep going. Once you have it secured, you're gonna take two sections, one from each side, and then you're gonna just do a simple knot. The right section is gonna go over the left section and then the left section 
action, we're gonna twirl up and push down and through. Hold the tails with one hand and then with your other hand, go ahead and thread a bobby pin through that knot. Then I like to spread out these sections so that they're a little bit more full and that tail on the left kinda always pokes out a little bit, so I'm just gonna tack it down with another bobby pin. We're gonna repeat this two more times, so grab two more sections of hair, twirl it into a knot, secure with a bobby pin, go ahead and spread that section out and do it again. Now you can leave it like this as a down style or you can pull the ends into a ponytail. I'm just using a clear elastic. And then what we're gonna do is cinch up on the ponytail so that it kinda hides underneath those knots. I think this hairstyle is so versatile and so beautiful. Just make sure you're using good bobby pins and that you've got a lot of texture in the hair and it'll be super easy to do too. So for this hairstyle, we're gonna pull another section from the crown and divide it into three equal sections, and then we're just gonna do a regular braid. So the left section is gonna go over the middle section, and then the right section is gonna go over the middle section, and we're gonna start our fishtail. You can't see it well here, but I'm combining the left and the middle sections. That way I have two sections for my fishtail braid. So on the left side, I'm gonna gather a fairly large section and pass it over its section and combine it with the section on the right, and that's gonna kinda even out those sections and then you're gonna take a small section on the right side pass it over its section and combine it with the section on the left and that's your basic fishtail braid I've got a very in-depth tutorial of this if you need a little extra help but we're gonna do roughly three to four stitches before I switch things up on you So we're gonna gather a section just like we normally would, but before we toss it over, we're gonna incorporate a section from the front into it, and then we're gonna pass it over. And you wanna make sure that you're not pulling in too much hair, but that it looks like one single piece, cause it just looks cooler that way. And then you're gonna repeat on the other side and add another piece of hair to that side of the fishtail braid, and toss it over and combine it with the left. I'm gonna loosen up the fishtail braid just a little bit so that I know I'm on the right track and then I'm gonna repeat. So three to four stitches down of a regular fishtail braid, incorporate two new sections of hair and then you're gonna finish the fishtail braid all the way down. If your hair is really long and your arms are burning, go ahead and move the braid over your shoulder and finish the steps. Just remember where you are in the braid. And then when you're finished, you'll go ahead and toss it behind your back and then stretch the braid out so that it looks nice and full and then tie it off with a clear elastic. My top layers are a little bit short, so I'm gonna go ahead and secure these top two sections on top of the braid, just throwing a bobby pin in there. And then I'm gonna show you with these last two pieces, you can push the pieces into the braid and bobby pin them underneath the braid like I'm doing right now. So there's those two options if you have shorter layers on top and you're worried that those sections are gonna kinda fall out. And there you have it. I am so obsessed with this fishtail braid. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I just think it's so beautiful. You could wear it to a wedding. You could wear it with a hat. It's just all the things. And that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions on hairstyles you wanna see, will you do me a favor and DM me a picture of them on Instagram? Or if you have any questions or need help with anything specific, let me know in the comments below. That way when I'm planning the content that I film for you guys, I can kind of incorporate things that you guys are needing help with or wanting to see. So yeah, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. I too start the camera. <laughs> There we go. Ready? Yes! Look at you! Okay, come here, I'll help you. <laughs>